Okay, so you've completed an introduction to exponential functions. So exponential functions grow exponentially. Um, like you saw, if you started with a dollar and doubled it every day, you end up with a lot of money very quickly. Um, and so today we are going to just continue our introduction by graphing some exponential functions just so we can get familiar with them. So there's no need to copy down notes today. We're just going to kind of explore them and start to graph them. So here on um, this first page, graphing exponential functions, we are just going to complete the table. And if you can, use a different color for each one. And then that way you can see the difference as you graph them. So y equals 2 to the x power. So 2 to the x power, well, x is 0. So 2 to the 0 power, if you remember, anything to the 0 power is 1. So our first point here would be 0, 1. We can go down on our graph. Let's see if it'll fit. Nope, let me move the, my camera a little bit. And we'd plot the first one at 0, 1. And then we have x is 1. So 2 to the x power would mean y is 2 to the first power. And 2 to the first power equals 2. So the next point would be 1, 2. So we'd go to 1 and go up to 2. And then 2 to the second power, 2 times 2 is 4. So our next point would be 2, 4. And then we have 3. So 2 to the third power, that's 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. So our next point would be 3, 8. Three, eight, and then we have four. So two to the fourth power. That's two times two times two times two. Two times two is four. Four times two is eight. Eight times two is sixteen. So our next point is four sixteen. Go four all the way up to sixteen. Then our last one is two to the fifth power. So we have to multiply sixteen by another two. And that's 32. So the last point is 532. So you'll recognize that an exponential graph looks quite a bit different than the linear graphs we've done. Um, instead of being a straight line, it starts off kind of slow and then starts going straight up really quickly. And so let's see the difference between y equals 2 to the x, 3 to the x, and 4 to the x. So let's pick a different color for y equals 3 to the x. And so 3 to the 0 power is still 1. So this first point is still 0, 1. And then 3 to the first power, x is 1. 3 to the first power is 3. So this point is 1, 3. And then 3 to the second power is 3 times 3, which is 9. So our next point is 2, 9. And then the last one is 3 to the third power which is 27, and so 3, 27, that's all that's going to fit on our graph. Wow, that graph's really going up fast. Because this one was doubling our turquoise line, now the red one is was tripling each time. So it goes up even faster. Now we're going to be quadrupling. So let's see what that graph's going to look like. 4 to the 0 power is still 1. So our first point, we're going to start the same spot, 0, 1. Then we're going to plug in 1, 4 to the first power. 
is just four, so we're gonna go to one, four, and then four to the second power is 16. Oops, so this is two, 16. And so this graph's even steeper than the other one because it's quadrupling. Okay, so there's just um, a little introduction to seeing how we um, could graph exponential functions using um, a table. So that's it for this assignment. You can go ahead and upload it.